All right, guys, I'm back. Okay, this is Coach George, George Corso, CSCS. Happy to be back with you guys with some more stick mobility. So we are going to be working superficial front line this entire month, all the coaches. So we're trying to stay on track and stay together as a team and work the body as we need to. All right, so I hope you guys are ready to rock and roll. So let's get warmed up for some joint prepping and then we're gonna move on. We will need access to all three sticks as always. Um, but we are going to start out with the two big sticks first for some of our stretching. Okay, so let's get warmed up. Grab two big sticks. I'll stand right in between. What's up, guys? All right, thing right in between the sticks. We're going to move from skin to cat into almost like our dead hang. So stay in between the sticks, pushing into the ground, 30% pressure going down. I'm going to move around the body. The palms then turn towards me, towards each other, really, and I'm going to drop and hang and hold. We're gonna hold it for about eight seconds. As I come back up, I'm going to drop back with my right leg. And I'm gonna feel, for me, I feel more of a stretch on my left where my up leg is as I do into my back. Brace the abs, squeeze the glutes. On the back side, I pull myself back up with my left hamstring. I bring it right back down to skin the cat. Have a good grip on the stick. I have some weight in my legs, obviously, but I'm trying to hold myself up more with my hands and so I can get that shoulder stretch in there. I'm gonna come back up and I step back with my left leg down and hold. Squeeze the glutes on the back side, which is our left at the moment. I'm going to come back up one more time each side. I bring it around to skin the cap. Again, this feels so good. Definitely one of my favorite morning stretches. I come back up, I step back with my left leg. I think we did that one twice, that's okay. Hold and relax, the legs, have a good grip on the stick. We come back up, step back, or I'm sorry, go back to skin the cat one more time. We bring it right back up, bring it one more leg back and hold. and come back up. I just have so much to feel good in there. Okay, grabbing one stick, brace the abs. Okay, we're just gonna work on some just rotations here. Make sure your knees aren't turning, not turning through the pelvis either. Just squeeze the glutes nice and tight. Make sure the knees aren't turning once again. Legs tight and braced. We've got 10. Eight right here. We got five more. Glutes tight. Two, one more. Great job. Okay, we're moving on. Number three. Okay, so let's go with the small stick right now. And we're gonna do our knee drop squats. Oops, I actually grabbed the five foot stick. All right, that's okay. So. I'm going to actually knee drop lunge. I'm going to drop down, stretch out my hip flexor first. I'm pressing out, 50% pressure going down into the ground. I'm reaching forward as far as I can. Now I'm going to arch back. All I'm going to do is extend out my right leg. Lock it out. Back down. Lock it up. Down for two. Lock, squeeze the glutes. That's three. Lock. Four. Lock. Five, lock, six, lock, seven, lock, that's eight, two more, lock, nine, one more lock and I'll hold that position. Now I'll just drop down a little bit but keep the knee off the ground and up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and stand on ten. Still getting warmed up. Let's go bring the opposite leg back. Stepping back with that left leg now as much as I can. I reach forward first and then I pull the shoulder blades back. The knees on the ground first. Lock out. Down for one. Lock. Two. Lock. Three. Lock. Four. Lock it out. Five. Lock. Six. Lock, seven, lock, eight, lock, nine, last one, hold it there, up and up for 10. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stand on one. Start to fire the legs up a little bit. All right, now we're gonna go into our pigeon or 90-90. We're gonna do this one a little bit different than what I've done in the past. So let's go to the right leg forward, the left leg back, still joint prepping. If you can't get into a good pigeon position, especially with your right leg, your front leg being at 90 degrees, stay 90-90. If not, you're gonna bring the leg back into your pigeon. I'm gonna put the small stick on my right thigh. I'm gonna grab up high as I can, pushing the thigh into the ground. Now I tilt away. Come back for one, press and tilt. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to turn my chest, I should say, towards the right as I tilt, and I feel a lot more in the hip. That's two, rotate and turn. For three, so now I'm gonna rotate around, pushing the knee down so it doesn't come up. That's four, rotate around. That's five, each one I try to push a little bit more. I bring it towards my chest a little more, almost like when we do the ninja flow. I'm gonna bring it towards the chest and the rib cage. Seven, each one gets deeper. Eight, pushing that thigh down, reach around. That's nine. One more time. And 10, great job, that felt great. Let's go to the opposite side. Okay, now my left leg is forward, my right leg is back. Again, if you want to hold your 90-90, you can. Okay, so I put the stick on my left inner thigh. Left hand goes on top. And I just rotate around for one. Each one gets deeper, okay? Don't go right away too deep into the stretch, that's two. That's three, that's four. Reach around, that's five, reach. That's six, come around. That's seven, around. That's eight, around. That's nine, one more time, bring it around, hold it. And 10, great job, okay? Let's stand up, grab one stick, we're going into our ninja flow next, and then we're ready to roll. Okay. Good, all right, let's go to the inside of our left foot first. Right foot to the outside, left hand on, I'm gonna drop down first, stretch out that shoulder, my right palm goes to the bottom. Have a good grip on the stick on the left, now just like the stretch we did before, make sure it goes against your rib cage, as I wrote, come down towards the right. Now what I try to do is push my right knee out away from me. I'll have a good grip on the stick. We come up and drop back down. Bring it up and down. Hold, open that knee up away from the body. Bring it up back down. On the left, I'm gonna go one more time to the right. Open. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna to go to the other side. Drop back down. I'm on the right now. Stretching out that right shoulder. I'm gonna feel the right pack a little bit. I'm gonna drop over now, keeping the stick against my right rib cage. Open up that left thigh more away from the body. I feel a nice deeper stretch. Bring it back over to the right and drop. Back over to the left. Open up that thigh, bring it back over and drop. Last one, and then we're ready for our strength training. Over, the left, and great job. If you need some water, grab that. We're ready to roll. You're very welcome. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're gonna start with some pressing, okay? So we're gonna use the big stick first for two moves, okay? We're gonna do like a, a seated L-sit press, okay, for our core, and then we're gonna work the dumpy squat, but we're gonna move up just into a half position. So it's a major burn there. All right, so the stick is going into the ground. I want to come up to where my thumb, I'll do it on the left side first. So you see my thumb is in line with my shoulder, okay? 
I'm gonna be pressing overhead and coming down. Now, if that's too hard for you, just keep your feet off the ground. Keep the toes pointed, legs locked out. So you have that pressure, chest up. I'm gonna press overhead and come down, trying to move the wall. If that's easy, move up a little more. Now I pick up the feet. You'll be leaning back a little bit, but as I come forward, I press up, and I lean forward into that, and I'm gonna come down for 10 reps. Brace those abs. Here we go, ready? Toes are up, pointed, one, and down. Up, down for two. Brace those abs. Up, down for three. Up, down for four. Up, down for five. Up, down for six. Up, down for seven. Up, lean forward as you press. Down for eight. Two more. Up, down for nine. Feel rough. Up and hold. And relax. Ooh. Stand up. Don't be squat. Put your arms to the ceiling. We're going to come all the way down like we normally do. Find a depth that works for you. And now we're going to come just up a quarter. As I come up a quarter, I'm pushing the stick away from me as I'm trying to move the ceiling. So I come up a quarter. Down for one. Up. Down for two. Up. Down for three. Up. Down for four. Up. Down for five. Up. Down for six. Up. Down for seven. Up. Down for eight. Up. Down for nine. One more. Up. Down for 10, great job. Put it on the ground once again. Now we're using our right side. Okay. Here we go in four, three, two, one. I'm pressing and moving. Down for one. Press and move. Down for two. Press. Down for three, brace those abs. Press. Down for four. Press. Down for five, press, down for six, press, down for seven, press, down for eight, press, down for nine, one more, press and hold, down for ten, great job, let's stay right back up, go right back into those dumpy squats, okay, come on down. Switch which hand was on top last time, if you can remember. Okay, chest is up. Squatting only a quarter of the way up, pressing out in three, two, one. Press and squat, that's one. That's two, up, that's three, up, that's four, up, Five, you're dropping early. Someone's here doing it. Up. That's six. Up. That's seven. Up. Oh, a little longer this time, right? That's eight. Two more. Up. That's nine. Last one. Up. And ten. Great job. Hydrate if you need to. Moving on. Okay, going with the small stick first. I'm gonna switch sticks, one second. Okay, I'm at. All right, wall movers. Okay, kind of like the move that we just warmed up with first, I'm gonna have the stick into my left hand. I'm trying to push the floor down. As my legs extended in my lunge, I'm gonna lean into that lunge more with the knee off the ground. If you have to have the knee on the ground, that's completely fine, okay? So watch what I do. When I say go, the knee comes off the ground, and I'm trying to move the ground, strengthening my right quad, feel the stretch of my left hip flexor. I come back down for one. Okay, ready? And go, make a fist on the opposite side. 
down for two. Go, move that wall, move the floor. Squeeze the glutes on the left side, down for three. Up and hold. Down for four. Move the floor. Make a fist on the right, down for five. Push. Down for six. Push. Lock and hold. Down for seven. Push. Down for eight. Push. Brace those abs. Down for nine. Last one, we hold for 10 seconds. And go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stand up. Pull yourself forward and up. Great job. Okay, we're going to the big stick now. The stick will still be in our left hand. Lying on our back. We're working roll-ups. Press and roll up. So option one is just to have the feet on the ground. Option two, as you roll up, it's kind of like a pressing position that we did before. And now I'm adding more of a flexion of the spine coming up. I press, make sure your wrist is directly over your elbow. I press and come up, my toes come off the ground. That's the easy part. The hard part is fighting it on the way down, that pressure. Okay, much harder on the way down. Here we go, we're gonna go up and then roll down for four, three, two, one. I press and come up and hold. Down for one, put the feet down for a second. Up, down, for two. These are way harder than I thought they were gonna be. Up, down for three. Up, down for four, up, down for five, up, down for six. If you're having a hard time rolling up, use your opposite hand to help you. Up, down for seven. Two more. Up. Down for nine. One more. Up. Down for ten. Woo. Great job. That one burned. Okay. Good news is we get to go back to it on the other side. Okay. Going with the right side now. Left leg forward. Right leg is back. Making a fist once again on your opposite side. Okay, find the elongated position first with your leg. From there, press the arm out. Remember, we're trying to push down where my ear is almost like going past my shoulder. I don't want it wide from the shoulder, the shoulder wide from the ear. They're in a good relationship, keep them close. Okay, here we go in three, two, one. Press, down for one. Push that floor away. Press, down for two. Make sure your shin is vertical. Press. Down for three, press lock up, squeeze the glutes to feel that stretch in the hip flexor. Down for four, press. Down for five, press. Down for six, press. Down for seven, press. Down for eight, press. Down for nine, press. And pull yourself up for 10, great job. Going to the other side once again for the roll-ups. Now on the right side. Lying on your back once again. I feel like the other one went too quick. Back on these already. Okay, trying to move the floor once again. Brace those abs, point those toes. Ready? And my feet start to come up as I press it, roll up. Come down for one. Move that floor. I'll go up, move the wall. Up. Down for two. Up. Down for three. Up. Down for four. Up. 
down for five, up, down for six, up, down for seven, up, down for eight, two more times, up, down for nine, one more, brace those abs, up, and 10, Whew. nice work. Okay, let's move on, hydrate. Okay, look at that, more lunges. Okay, two sticks. Still working with pressing, still working with lunging now. All right, so we're gonna do a, a switch press on this next one. All right, so if I'm lunging back with my left leg, I'm starting with my left arm will be up, my right arm is down, so it looks like this. I'll just reverse it, okay? My thumb is past the sides of my shoulder. I'm gonna lunge back with my left leg as far as I can. And I'm going to press, press, stand up for one. Okay, we got it. Here we go, try to move that wall, move that floor in three, two, one. Left leg goes back. Press, press, and up for one. Back, press, press, that's two. Same side every time. Down, press, press, that's three. Back, press, press, that's four. Down, press, press, that's five. Down, press, press, that's six. Down, press, press, that's seven. Down, press, press, that's eight. Two more times. Down, press, press, that's nine. Last one. Down, press, press, that's 10. Great job. Before we go to the other side, line our back. Okay. We're gonna work our TBA off the interior our shins by working the feet. Place both sticks on the feet, arms are locked out. 30% pressure going against your feet, make sure they're flexed upward. I'm gonna move, try, I'm gonna move my feet away from me, flex my feet back up, okay? So move away, two, here we go, brace those abs. Three, four, make sure that lower back it's flat to the ground, so you brace those abs. Arms are locked out, shoulder blades are back. Press the feet away, pull them back for six. Press the feet away, move them back for seven. Press the feet away, it's eight. Press the feet away, nine, we're going to 15. Press the feet away, 10, five more. Press the feet away, that's five. Press the feet away, that's four. Press away, three, press away, two, one more, press away, one. Great job, excellent work. Okay. We got the other side. So now the right leg is going back, which means the right arm will be the up arm, left arm is the down one. Okay, stepping back with the right, step back, press, press, that's one, step back, press, press, that's two, step back, press, press, that's three, step back, press, press, that's four, Step back, press, press, that's five.
step back, press, press, at six, step back, press, press, at seven, step back, press, press, that's eight, two more, let's own this, come on, step back, press, press, that's nine, one more time, step back, press, press, that's 10 on our back one more time so we can even them up. Back to working those shins. Anterior, here we go. Arms are locked out straight, legs are locked out. Brace the abs, squeeze the glutes. Push the feet away, flex them back toward you for one, point, then press for two, point, flex for three, point, flex for four, Point, flex for five, point, press for six, point, press for seven, point, flex for eight, point, flex for nine, point, flex for ten, five more bracelet abs, five, point, four, point, three, Point, that's two, one more, point, and one. Great job. Let's stand up. I think we're going to do the small stick next on my list. Ooh, we are. If you want to hydrate, just hide it just a little bit, not too much in. Okay, we're going to work with the right leg being our bent leg, the one that's going to be on the stick. We're going to work both the supine and prone position. So I'm going to start first with the Black Widow. Um, we're going to do the, actually I'm going to do my left side first, so you see with the camera. So, I'm going to place the stick into the wall, okay? Now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back away from the wall with my hands so that my knee has to be more forward, okay? So I don't want to be here, because when I get into my push-up position, my weight likes to be way back. If I back away, so I measure it, now I back the opposite leg away, okay? I'm going to flex the right leg. I'm going to get the left knee off the ground, rising up and trying to lean forward, almost like going into a handstand, elbow pits are forward, okay? I'm trying to keep the wrist as close as I can to my knee and my elbow as I raise up and down for 10 strong reps. So I'll do one rep so you see, lock up the leg, I'm going to come up and down, okay? Here we go, 10 strong reps, three, two, one, I'm up, down for one, up, down for two, up, down for three, up, down for four, up, down for five, up, down for six, up, down for seven, up, down for eight, two more, up, down for nine, one more time, up, down for 10. Lie on your back, still with the left leg, drive the stick in. Now I'm gonna be either be at 90, I'm either gonna be even or I can be back this way a little further to draw my knee in more. Okay, try to drop the stick on your face. I'm gonna extend my right leg out. And I have my left, my hands over my head. And I'm gonna hold like a hollow body position for 10 seconds, one second break. With the knee going in, six reps we have. Ready? If you're too nervous about the stick, you can keep the hands up so you don't feel like you're going to drop it on you. If you need to keep the opposite leg down, do that. And we hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, that's 1. Up and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, that's 2. Up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, that's 3. Up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, that's 4. Go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 
Last one. And begin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew, that was hard. You know what? I made a mistake. We we're supposed to be 3 and 3. That's why I said 6, but we already did it. So we've got to keep rolling. Oops. All right. Right knee is going in now. Here we go. Right knee, Black Widows. Okay. Then we'll move those hands back so they're closer to your up leg as much as possible. Here we go. We got four, three, two, one. Raise up, down from one. Up, down for two. Up, down for three. Up, down for four. Up, down for five. Up, down for six. Up, down for seven. Up, down for eight. Up, down for nine. One more time. Up and hold. Great job. Oh, hey, hey, the other ones. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bring the leg back. Drag your knee into the sit once again. Okay, we got four, three, two, one, and we hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Begin. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Begin. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. How many was that? Four. I do. Good. Remember. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Last one. Begin to hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. We're moving on. Okay. Go back to that lunge position once again. We're going to find that low lunge position. We're going to take it almost into when I've done the animal flow front step positioning through. What we're going to do is just work our front step. My palm's going to be on the stick. We're going to be in that low, deep lunge position once again, but now I'm trying to move the wall by pushing against the stick. Okay, we can actually use the short stick for this one. So, I'm truly pushing on the wall. All right, so I'm going to have my right foot forward, my left foot back. The stick's going to be in my right hand. Actually, I'm going to do my left again so you see it first. So left foot forward, left hand here. And I set myself up to where my thumb is in line with my shoulder. I get my knee off the ground, the window's wide, meaning my hand's away from my foot, elbow pins forward, and I'm gonna try and move the wall. Ready for 10 seconds, knee off the ground, I'm trying to push the wall away, push. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knees down. Push. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, knee down. Push. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, knee down. Three more. Push. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, knee down. Push. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, knee down. Last one, push. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, stand up. Nice work. Okay, other side. Oh, yes. This next one's gonna be fun. Next move. Okay. One's gonna be fairly easy. That one's very intermediate. That one's very advanced. Okay. Now it's going to be in my right hand, right foot forward, trying to move the wall. Okay. Left hand on the ground. Here we go. Ready? In three, two, 
one, push, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knee down, push, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knee down, push, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knee down, three more, push, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, squeeze the glutes, five, four, three, two, one, knee down, push, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knee down, last one, push, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stand up. Two big sticks before we go to our static stretches. Okay. Two moves here we could do. So we're gonna put the stick into the wall, both big sticks. I saw a coach on Stick and Billy play with this the other day, playing with some sissy squats. You can play with two different options here. Option one is to come back, and then you come back up. You don't have to go that far. Option two is much harder. All right, so we're going to take it into almost like a sissy squat in a way, but we're going to take that into almost like a bridge towards the floor, okay? All right. Here we go. So watch. This one's way hard, so be careful with this one. So I'm going to start on my back here, make sure it's in the wall. Sorry guys. All right. So now it's going to be on my shoulders. I'm leaning. Now I'm going down to my sissy squat, right? But as I do that, my knees will be a little higher than normal. My hands go overhead. Watch. And I bring the head down towards the floor and then I come back for one. So choose which one's best for you. Okay, but we're gonna do six reps. All right, ready? We got three, two, one. I go back, arms are going straight up. And I come back for one. I go back for two. Back for three. Back, four, one more time. Back, four, five. Okay, let's stretch. All right, let's, put, let's grab the one big stick first. Let's sit on our butts and go into our booty stretch. Soles of our feet together. Again, when I do this one, I always like to use my hands first before the stick. Press it down. Now grab the stick. Place it on your thighs. Press down and keep that back nice and straight. Great to be back with you guys, that's for sure. I do love teaching this class. Even for me, it's always a little more humbling when I do it myself, which I always do. I always feel like I want to do more afterwards. I'm like, now I'm good. Okay, let's stand up. Let's take it into our slap shot now. Okay, so we're gonna go behind the back. Widen those legs. Let's bring it to our left foot or to the middle. Middle's easier. Or the left foot. And then bring it out. Let's stand back up. Let's go to the other side. Drop it on down. Slowly come back up. Let's kneel down on our 
right leg. Let's take it into our snake reach. Inside of your left thigh. Right hand up. Goes behind my left shoulder. And just tilt. Or if you're a little more mobile, take a couple of steps back. Don't let go, just push back with the right leg, the left leg. Come back up, switch to the other side. My left hand goes on top first, right shoulder behind, tilt, step back if you want. are done. Guys, thanks for joining on as always. Pleasure to be back. Jerry, thanks for the compliments. Now, some of these aren't level two drills. I just give two different variations on, on certain uh, exercises. That's all. But guys, thank you so much for joining on. I will see you guys next week for some more stick mobility. Peace.